A 12-year-old is flying over the coast of Long Island while sitting in a Bronx classroom. Maintain a heading of 90 degrees. At the Leaders of Tomorrow Public Middle School, a teacher's lounge is now the aviation room. Students are learning to fly on four new flight simulators, not to become pilots, but as a way to learn STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. In this mission, particularly, it show, it, we have to use a lot of ratios to know where to go. A donor gave $20,000 to buy the simulators made by a company called STEM Pilot. A seventh grade science teacher was trained on incorporating them into the curriculum. 30 students have been studying on the simulators twice a week since September, learning concepts like how to chart locations on graphs and the science of flight. We look for kids who had an interest in math and in science. So it wasn't just kids who think this, these are video games, because there are a lot more than that. Leaders of Tomorrow has been identified as one of the city's most struggling schools. Just 7% of students passed the state math test last year. The principal hopes the aviation program will help. It's not like the other classes, it's hands-on. And he'd like to expand it to serve all his students. I love a, a big room filled with tons of flight simulators. That was like a flight aviation class. The room now is decorated with photos of famous aviators. For me, it was very important that our kids would see people who look like them in aviation. Um, but when you go back historically and look at aviation, it is not a very multicultural industry. But they were able to find black and Hispanic and female role models. Getting girls involved with science is another goal. I actually thought it was going to be boring. And it actually looked pretty hard, but then I started to like it. The flight simulators are landing in schools all over the city. STEM pilot equipment is now in 27 schools spanning all five boroughs. Do not climb or descend until I tell you to do so. Lindsay Christ, New York One.